everyone, Chef Frankie here. We're back with another Minecraft Pocket Edition video. And in today's video, I will actually be giving another redstone tutorial on how to make an automatic kelp farm in Minecraft the Aquatic Update. So as you can see, this is what it looks like. It uses a really compact, simple redstone clock. And when I flick the lever, whoops. When I flick the lever, as you can see, we get an infinite supply of kelp. And it's powered by mode meal. So let's basically get right into how we build this thing. So I, as you can see, all the items I have in my inventory right now, you might want to pause the video if you're building this as you're watching this. Uh, so you can see what I have. So we have a chest. The first step is you want to place the uh, large chest down like this. And then after you place the large chest down, you get a hopper. Place it right besides it, connected to it. After you do that, you get some gravel. Place it right here, just like so. And then after that, you get a block of your choice, and you just put a dispenser pointing this way. Then after you do that, whoops, you get an observer, but you have to make sure it's pointing in the right direction. Here, let's see. It has to be, it has to be uh, pointing towards this dispenser, so make sure the arrow is pointing towards this. And then the next observer has to be pointing this way and it should make a ticking sound this is going to be our redstone clock after that we need to make it stop ticking so we need to get a piston place it right here get a lever oh wow that was loud okay you get a lever and then when we do that it should just turn off automatically our next step is actually building the kelp farm so just build just like I'm doing right now and then our first water bucket's going to go right here. And then our second water bucket is going to go right on top of here, just like so. It's gonna block this off. And then that's our second water bucket. You really wanna make sure you get them in the right place so that way it doesn't mess it up. Then we're going to put our kelp right here. Then after that, going to get our hopper place the hopper just like this do it really fast otherwise the water will go everywhere you don't want it to flood or anything then you put a chest right here then once you got it nice and neat just like I do right now just want to build it up and close it off just like so okay so you're basically done with the most simple design that I came up with for making an automatic kelp farm so the last step you have to do is just get some bone meal. I have some in my inventory right now. I think it's infinite, so I think if you just put like a certain amount, it will go on forever, I'm pretty sure. So if I flick this lever right over here, and as you can see, we get an infinite supply of kelp coming out just like that. And it goes into this chest, and let's say if some of it gets stuck up there, it won't really get stuck because we have another chest right over here that collects that kelp, that collects like the extra kelp that falls into the hopper right over here. So yeah, that's basically how you build the automatic kelp farm in Minecraft Aquatic Update. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next Minecraft Bucket Edition video. Bye! Thank <laughs> you.